Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a function to print a 2D list. So we're pretty much going to take this code and wrap it inside of a function. So here's how you do that. You'd say def and then give it a function name. We'll just call it print underscore 2D. I mean you can call it whatever you want. Call it taco salad for all I care. And then parentheses and a colon. And I'm going to take this code, cut it, and paste it in our function. Just make sure the indentation's right, because it always tends to get messed up when you do stuff like that. So you should have four spaces right here, eight spaces right here, 12, and then eight. So just make sure everything's indented nice. And then what we can do is this grades here actually needs to be passed in. So we'll create a parameter for that, like so. And now we'll invoke it. Print underscore 2D and pass in grades and run it and hey here's our output so this is a really simple example we're just printing the numbers however you could do all kinds of custom stuff with this it's basically more versatile than just passing the entire list to print which just keeps it inside of the list structure if you don't want to do that you can create your own function to do it for you however you like now it is important to have this definition come before the invocation if i took this and tried to paste it right here it's actually not going to work and this might be different than what you might expect coming from a compiled language, because some compiled languages will actually go through the code, get all of the functions first, so then you can invoke them pretty much anywhere. That's not the case here, so we actually need to invoke it after the definition, like so. So there is your introduction on how to create a function to print a list. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys, and stay tuned for the next video.